It's time for Team Mom Trash Talk with Tracy and Noel. Hello and welcome to Team Mom Trash Talk. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, comedian Noel W. Herzog, the Sicilian Serpent. Woo! How are Look you at today? how many necks Chico has in back of me. Can you see all his necks? <laughs> well, that's not very nice, Noel. I love him so much. I gave him those necks. <laughs> that's ground beef neck. That's ground turkey. Neck. Oh, God, Noel. <laughs> You're out of control. I can't <laughs> wait until we blur your background. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We're here to talk about Teen Mom, the next chapter or new chapter. There's really no way to know. Uh, season uh, one, episode next 10. Chapter. Listen, who cares? You can't tell me. You know what I mean? If I want to call it the new chapter MTV, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to MTV. Yeah. You can't stop me. Yeah. I mean, also on Twitter, the hashtag is always Team Mom Next Chapter. It's not Team Mom The Next Chapter. Very, right. very annoying. Oh, uh, you are the so, little things. You're so Twittery. If you guys want to hear more of our amazing <laughs> banter, you know where to go. Patreon.com slash Trash Talk Podcast. That is where you will find all of our bonus content, including but not limited to Mm -hmm. 90 day fiance, the single life, which is my new favorite show. Okay. I can't wait to watch this episode. I didn't watch it yet. I watched like 10 minutes of it. Did I watch it? You know, I don't know if you did. Oh no. Natalie goes to see uh, Natalie's going to see Mike. Mike's mom makes an appearance this episode. No, I didn't watch. Oh, yeah, he lives with his mom now. Here's the thing. I thought that I was going to have fun tonight and go crazy and watch love is blind. And now I'm not, I'm going to watch single life. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Perfect. (laughs) Go crazy. Let's let's jump in the blue lagoon with Cheyenne. Do I look like a rock star? I do. You do. Sometimes when I do podcasts in the summer and it's really hot, I'll put like a fan on. Uh huh. And, and your hair is blowing in the yeah, wind. And I'm like, oh, OK, I can't. That's I actually so can't funny. do that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll start off with Cheyenne. OK, she's taking Ryder to a dressmaker. Right. So right. she's like, Ryder, w- tell me all of the things that mm-hmm. you want your dress to have. Tell me all of the characteristics that this from scratch dress is going to have. Right. She wants a sweetheart neckline. Mm hmm. Is she that a sweetheart? She said a heart shape. Is that a, a sweetheart? sweetheart? Yeah. Oh, because she said she wants a her own version of Cheyenne's dress, right? Yes. Yeah. So it's a sweetheart neckline. She wants a floor length gown. Right. She wants all these things. And they're like, OK, just ask for it very politely. Right. And now I'm like, oh, my God. They're having this girl have like a full mermaid gown made. Right. Uh, they put a communion dress on her. That's what I was going to say. That was a nothing. And they call it a day. My flower girls wore that dress. I think maybe I don't even know. Sure. Weird. I, honestly, I got to tell you, I think your flower girl dresses were way nicer than that. OK, so this is what I was going to say. This is the plainest, most boring, unwriter like dress. Like, it's like Cheyenne didn't want to be shown up by her own daughter. She's like, listen, mm-hmm. you bitch. Yeah. You'll get what I get you. Yeah. And you'll like it. But here's the thing. I'm shocked that she liked it. The kid. I I was confused because I'm like, she really did know what she wanted. Good thing it wasn't you. You would have been like, I'll burn this place to the ground, mom. Why are you bringing (laughs) me to a dressmaker? (laughs) Right. Why don't you just bring me to David's bridal? Why don't you bring me to J.C. Penny? Right. That's not even a. (laughs) That's my favorite. That is not. No, I know. I know. Come on, guys, do better. Yeah. yeah, that was it was weird. I feel like maybe there was supposed to be more of an explanation and there wasn't. But guys, we're not dumb. We'll notice this stuff. Yeah. Also, I don't remember her actual wedding pictures. Is that the actual dress that she did wear? Ryder? Ryder? I think look, I could look on our uh, Instagram. I'm going okay. to take a look, Zipo. I think there's a video of her and Boz up there. Yeah, it's just like I'm pretty sure that that is what she wore because I remember her dress being underwhelming and it's like shame on me. I did not like Cheyenne's dress at all. So I'm actually glad that Ryder didn't have a no, I mean, sure. But she would have looked very cute in whatever fancy. Well, I mean, put something fancy on her. Put a little blingy bling on her. Put a baby bling on her. She's the cutest kid I've ever seen. What did you do? Yeah. You could have done so much more. Isn't the point of having a daughter to dress her up all the time? It's the only reason I would have one. Yeah. And to name her and see what she looks like. Those are all of the reasons. And then throw her right in the 
firehouse. Basura. Take her to the nice, <laughs> safe firehouse. That's Tracy's favorite place. I'll be like, this actually did not come out the way I thought it was going to come out. I thought it was going to look different. Mm. Next. Your eye makeup looks very good, by the way. I'm mesmerized by it. Thank you so much. I did a little teal, a little purple. It's the teal that I see. I really like it. I was like, you know, I just need to like do something. Step outside the box a little bit. Do something good I for never you. Do. Step outside of that box. Yeah, because it's always like pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, gold. When you came over the other day, you had on the pinkest eyeshadow ever. It was oh, like I shock went, pink. I went all the way. It was a yeah. little color pop pink palette. You mesmerized my mother. <laughs> That's what I do. If you guys want to hear more about Noelle's mom, you know where to go. Patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. All right. So now Ryder is like, uh, by the way, mom, mm-hmm. I am going to Atlanta for daddy's movie. Right. Uh, I'm packed. I have a ticket. Peace out. But also it's like, Cheyenne, why do you believe this child? Do you think she has all the information? Okay, I got to tell you, I think she does. I get it, but I just feel like I don't see the point in not fighting with, but like, I don't know, getting short with a child. Like, talk no. to Corey. Okay. Don't you think this was a little bit weird? Like this whole entire her yes. entire segment. So um, she said that Corey is taking her out of school and she's like, so she's talking to Zach about talking to Corey in front of Ryder. Also, Zach is sleeping. Right. And she in the goes, car. yeah, I got to skip school a lot. And then she goes to Cheyenne, you just can't take over. You're both parents. I know I did like that, but I feel like this is fed to her. No, it has to be. You think so? I don't. It's not that it's not cute. Sure, it's cute. But like if this is for real, like how you guys talk in front of her, like don't. Well, no, I mean, you shouldn't talk about Corey. Not that you're talking, even when even they were in the car, bad. she's like, I heard that. Right. So also they have a new puppy. Uh huh. They have a new puppy. I don't know why people do this. Okay, so she's moving. She's uh going to be transitioning into a new home. Mm-hmm. She has Ryder starting school, and she's getting married, and she got a puppy. Yeah. Okay. And she has two small children. That's really mm-hmm. good. That is good. Um. So they're talking to Corey in front of Ryder too. Yes. It just men- makes no sense to me. Men cannot communicate. I'm sorry. She can't communicate either. This is both of them. I know. But like, she's like, so, you know, when I asked you to take her, is that conflicting? And he's like, well, what did he say at first? He was like, no, I know we talked about this already. And she's like, is it conflicting? And he's like, yeah. And but then he's like, I have to look at her calendar. I know. But didn't you feel like this was choppy a bit? Very. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm like, I can't really even follow what's happening. Okay. So he's leaving. He's filming a movie from September 12th to October 9th. They're getting married at the end of September. So he has to come to her wedding. So he's going to come back for the wedding. Also, that's when they need him to be drive her back and forth to school. Right. So how is that going to work? And then so Corey changed the schedule. What did he change it? back to what it used to be so he's right. not doing it right that's what i don't understand mm. and also she's going to atlanta how is she getting there because she's going by herself she's just going there for a week is she going with taylor like what's happening is he flying back and forth for the right for the movie what movie is he in what movie is he in Give what me a the break. challenge the challenge the movie? yep mm-hmm. the challenge the play the movie this is like those lame like wwe movies like that like the rock was in or like john cena's in isn't the rock the most famous person in the world i think yes. he is yeah so maybe it's not so dumb maybe no i know it. but even john cena like he's so people everybody knows who he is too but they do these lame ass wwe movies like you know like the soldier and he comes in and he shoots like 1000 bullets and you know you know who's not gonna like this right nick the nanny we had a full-on voice note conversation i heard back and forth about total divas i heard you guys are gonna hear more about that on patreon yeah uh, and i'm gonna actually shut my ears off from when you talk about that no i don't i want you to keep them on i think in fact you should turn them up Mm-mm. my no no thank mm-hmm. you yes uh, i'm gonna take a hard pass on that does cheyenne have any clothes that don't say mom or mama does no. anyone on this show have no. any clothes that don't Kate say mom or mama? even kale didn't it's you lame. don't know it's lame i see all your kids it's so lame i just it's that's so chelsea it's so, all of them so yeah. corn yeah amber like doesn't have that <laughs> Amber's like, what? I am like, mom, <laughs> mom, 
Tanya? <laughs> Tanya? 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 <laughs> It's not always easy to decide what you want for dinner, but with HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You could skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. You could subscribe to HelloFresh and check save money off your fall to-do list. HelloFresh is 25% cheaper than takeout and less expensive than grocery shopping too. With HelloFresh, ingredients travel from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days so you know they're fresh. Plus, pre-portioned ingredients make cooking a snap and cut down on food waste. So this week, I made beef tenderloin with brown butter veggies plus Parmesan mashed potatoes. I never realized how great parsnips were. I made paprika chicken in a lemony sauce with pistachio rice and roasted carrots. I would have never, ever thought of putting pistachios in rice. It was delicious. And we had steak with mushroom cream sauce, plus roasted potatoes and carrots. Every single meal from HelloFresh was so delicious. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Trash Talk 65 and use code Trash Talk 65 for 65% off plus free shipping. So that's HelloFresh.com slash Trash Talk 65. Let's talk about Kate. All right. I didn't love this. Okay, tell me the reason why you didn't love okay, this. Okay, so I feel like everything after here uh-huh. is like, I feel like this episode was really humanizing a lot of the characters. You like the characters? I, it was a dark episode. That's though. what I'm saying. Like yeah. it was a little bit. Okay. So she has a bad earache. She has half of a numb tongue. Mm. She goes to the hospital for a CAT scan and right. blood work. Mm-hmm. She has to stay over to get an MRI in the morning. Okay. But here's the thing. I believe that this is all real. She loves dramatics though. Okay. Please. So here's the thing. I believe that this is all real, but what I would do is I'd be like, Hey guys, in the morning, I'm going to come back for that MRI. Mm-hmm. No, she and can't then wait wh- to say that she stayed in the hospital overnight. And then what you're going to do in the morning after the MRI, I'm going to go home again. Are you going to get a little, little she, ring? No, she can't wait to stay. You're staying overnight this to is, get your MRI Tracy, results? It's so out of character for you and I. But it's so real. It's so, here's the other it thing. It takes in a New York type City of person. In New York okay, City. so I was thinking that too. I'd be like, you are in the emergency room. It is on fire. Right. Try and doing you that at Coney Island Hospital. And you think you're going to have a sleepover for your right. MRI with a room by yourself? But that's what I mean. It's like, clearly you're not from New York. Please. You would have gotten shot in the hospital. That's what I mean. You could have like your leg hanging out <laughs> and you can't get a room. You're yeah. in the hall of the ER on a bed. Well, you lived in the hall in the ER. Uh, yeah, I was there for like ever and not because by choice. I wasn't mm-hmm. like, oh, I think I'll sleep here tonight. It's so weird. I don't know. It's so uh, weird. To me. It's so And weird. she can't wait. It's like, I know that this is real, but she can't wait to tell Ty it might be MS. Right. So she's scared yeah. and she's like, I hope you're not mad at me. But I will say this. Mm-hmm. Why can't April stay with the kids? Why can't Kim stay with the kids? Why can't someone stay with the kids at all? I mean, uh-huh. no one cared. Well, it, I don't think Ty's like, I need anybody to stay with the kids. He's fine with them. Right. But I'm just yeah. saying like, so she had to be alone. Yeah, she wants to be. I guess she so. Because she also doesn't want anyone to hear what the doctors are saying she wants to be the right because they're like hey can you go home and wait for the mri and she's like you need me to stay here 100 percent. okay okay i'll tell my whole family that it might be something serious Mm -hmm. i'm just gonna like that's not what we said at all (laughs) right and she's like i'm sorry my mom's calling me (laughs) april's calling me (laughs) april's calling me and the all of the animals have escaped their tanks oh god i wish we could see april's house again i wish we could not well, I mean, you could have allergies through the screen. <laughs> you know that those things trigger me. I know. So Kim calls Tyler to see how he is. But, and also to scare him. <laughs> <laughs> but Kim I like is him. my mother. <laughs> oh, it could be something very bad. Uh-huh. It's crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's probably really bad. That is so typical, though, that like, like if Kate was home with the kids, you think someone mm-hmm. would be like, oh, God, Kate's home with the kids alone. I hope she's okay. 
No, it's typical. It's a man. It's a guy. He's home alone. Mm-hmm. It's like there's a guy babysitting. Babysitting, babysitting three children. How could he babysit three children at the same time? Yeah, it's like it's I just, hope she's paying him a lot of money. Right. It's just so unheard of. I hope someone comes to relieve him. I'm surprised Kim didn't just go there and give him a little hand relief. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That's his favorite. Mm-hmm. So uh, no one looked at the MRI. So she sleeps over again. She's having mm-hmm. like the best sleepover. She's having the time of her life. She's like, the, I get she's clear a broths. <laughs> I love Jello. I love gel. I love applesauce. <laughs> So Cheyenne calls her and she's mm-hmm. like, uh, they think it might be Bell's palsy. And mm-hmm. Cheyenne's like, oh, I could see it. Cheyenne, shut up. I know. I would have fainted if she said that to me. <laughs> well, because she's like, half my tongue is numb. This, that, this, she's that. Like, oh, man, I could see yeah, it. Yeah, Cheyenne's like, oh, I see that. You're not even moving. Nothing's moving. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Shy. She's like, oh, my God. Even your bang went to one side. Seriously. She's bang she's like, delicious. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mm-hmm. rude. <laughs> so she leaves the hospital. She gets in her car and drives home. Tracy, she drove herself to the hospital. You were fine enough to, if you're fine enough to drive yourself to the hospital, I don't know about going to the hospital. You couldn't just get an MRI. Go to the, that MRI house Go in West doctor. Virginia. <laughs> Have them sonogram to see if there's a baby in your brain. It's so weird. Like, can you not get like MRI appointments that easily? It's an emergency, right? So go to yeah. your regular. She's like, I went right. to urgent care. I wasn't getting answers. Yeah. In urgent care. You know what they do? Yeah. They're like, oh, you should go to the hospital. Yeah. Urgent care doesn't do anything unless you like, you know, have something they can give if you. If you have a cold, they're for. like, I'll give you antibiotics. And you're like, right. this doesn't even cure this. And you're yeah. like, perfect. Goodbye. So they gave her steroids and antivirals. And I did not know was- Bell's palsy was a virus, though. Sure is. I Just didn't like know shingles. that. My grandmother had Bell's, Bell's palsy. God punishes. You're not wrong about that. <laughs> no, it's a, such a fear of mine. I know um, it is. Trust me. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> I thought I had it this week and then I saw this episode. I'm like, great. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. Great. As soon as this came out, I'm like, did they have to say it? Did they have to say <laughs> Bell's palsy? Great. So she said that she was very anxious. Um, she gets very bad like health anxiety because when she was little, something happened to her and someone else was in control. I hated how she said this. This gave me like the heebie-jeebies. Well, because she doesn't want She's saying it without saying it. I know, but that got me like kind of upset. Oh, you don't care. You have no soul. I mean, listen, we all have our cross to bear. You sure. Know? No, I know. It just was like, she was like, oh, I don't want to say this. No, I get it. Also, that was I, like, also uh... rewind for one second. This baby, Raya, at one point was drinking a bottle, mm-hmm. brown liquid inside of it. I saw that. I was like, is that was iced it? tea? Was that sweet tea? Maybe it was a coffee. But that's what I mean. What was that? Okay. That, that I think it was drinking? an iced coffee. I mean, maybe, but I think the kid wants creamer. I don't think the kid's going to have black, well, brown coffee. No, I mean, it's just they probably watered it down, the coffee. What do you think? Really? Because there was ice in it. I literally thought it was like like country time iced tea. Right. I thought it was like like four C. Yes. (laughs) Okay, good. Me too. (laughs) Me too. I'm like, this is actually terrible. These children are rotting from the inside. (laughs) No, but they are up. They're they're awake. (laughs) Yeah, right. Don't you want your kids to sleep? Yeah, but they also have to work. (laughs) You're so funny. Country time. (laughs) Well, that's the lemonade. I'm so sorry. My grandmother loved that. Speaking of Bell's palsy. (laughs) I can't believe it's almost Christmas. Noelle and I love to give gifts that give back. And it's so easy because Thrive Cosmetics makes high-performance beauty and skincare products made with clean, skin-loving ingredients. And we absolutely love the products and we use them all the time. Noelle, you love the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara and so do I. It is the first vegan tubing mascara and it is their best-selling product and it has more than 20,000 five-star reviews. It lasts all day without clumping, smudging, or flaking, and there's easy removal. The tubing formula slides right off with warm water and a washcloth, no soap required, and it always looks like I have fake eyelashes on. It is such a great volumizing and lengthening formula. We started using the Infinity Waterproof Eyeliner as well, waterproof and smudge-proof for all-day wear. It's intense, high-impact pigmentation in one smooth swipe, and everyone knows how much Noelle loves eyeliner, and I'm even learning how to do a wing. 
The Bigger Than Beauty mission is so great because for every product purchase, Thrive Cosmetics donates to help communities thrive. They have over 300 giving partners across the country supporting numerous causes. Celebrate the season of giving and try Thrive Cosmetics today. Right now, you can get 15% off your first order when you visit thrivecosmetics.com slash teenmom. That's thrivecosmetics, C-A-U-S-E-M-E-T-I-C-S dot com slash teenmom for 15% off your first order. Oh, God. All right. Speaking of uh, your grandmother, let's talk about Amber. I hated everything about this. Noelle? Yeah. I don't love Amber. Tracy, she didn't do anything wrong. She did yeah. nothing wrong in this episode. It's actually we'll it was get upsetting. To it. It, it was upsetting. But it's upsetting. It's almost like, how could this possibly happen to her? Mm-hmm. Yes. So she said that she wants to see James for a month now. And right. Christina asked if Leah and Emily had a last had a good last visit ever with James. Christina's she's a marshmallow, that one. She always looks like she's crying, even when she's just talking. <laughs> She does. She does. Maybe she always just smelt a fart. Um, but I like she's like she smelled a fart. Um, Leah, mm-hmm. you're never going to see uh, James again. Right. How was that? It's hard. It's really hard. Never again. It's just so uh, also <laughs> how obvious is it, is it that Leah doesn't like Amber? Okay, but she is trying like a lot, a lot, a lot. You don't think so? She, I feel like she's so passive aggressive. The comments and the things that she says, I know. Like I think she, she feels I bad. feel like she, no, I think she pities her. The way she speaks. Yes, she pities her, but she feels bad. I guess, she, but I Leah feel like, treats she her like she's the mom. Well, that's the thing. I don't think that she feels bad because that's her mom. I think she just thinks no. this is a shitty situation. Yeah. 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 I agree with you on that. Mm-hmm. Um. So, um, Lexi comes to Amber's and Amber's on the couch with a blanket. And Lexi she- has an open container. She has an open Starbucks. There's no top on it. What is this? She's gonna chug it. What is this? There's no top on your coffee. You know why? Why? Because she took off the top. She put some in Raya's bottle. Uh huh. Right. And then she went over to Amber's. Or she had some strawberries in it and had her duck friend drink. She it. had her <laughs> duck drink the best tiktok you got, yeah if you guys don't know what we're talking about google tiktok strawberry duck that's the best thing you'll Pumpkin ever donuts. see if you're having a bad day do that <laughs> i really do love it a lot so uh she said that christina and leah were crying over this whole thing and it's like so also james is four i know that's wild i know it's like, I feel like he, she I just, just watched her throw up yesterday <laughs> ah. i just watched her throw up in that bag yesterday but she was pregnant <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. Well, uh, she said that this is more painful than gel. Sure. Okay. How she's probably like, listen, in every episode, I'm going to bring up gel. Yeah. No, this is her thing. Yes. So she's going to spend a lot of money on child support now. She said Mm -hmm. she's going to spend a lot of time traveling, Mm -hmm. uh, but she gets her house back and she hasn't been there in three years. This the way they even set this up. I was like, I'm scared. No, I was terrified. Right. Because it's like leading up to like you're going to like Blood Manor. Yes. Like, what are you walking into? So Gary and Christina said that they're going to go to the old house with her. And Leah wants to go, too. So they have the whole family, including the dog. I know. And Emily, too. This poor kid. You couldn't leave Christina home. Right. It should just be Gary and Amber. It just should have been Gary and Amber. I love that Amber's in the front seat. She probably gets car sick. Maybe she definitely. Might. Yeah, she probably does. They're probably like, she I gets can't. walk sick. She like, gets <laughs> she gets sit up sick. <laughs> Every time you see Amber, she's like, I was just vomiting right. everywhere. Always. <laughs> she loves that shit. <sighs> Her hair so, is so long now. Well, I mean, it's like it's like a man in a cave when he hasn't shaved his beard. <laughs> uh, you're right. <laughs> so, um. They're all very nervous. And she, yeah. she gets in the car and she goes, if I start to talk weird, just don't mind me. If I start to talk weird, it's the Klonopin <laughs> talking. Am I not like, to say that? Delici- <laughs> no, she's like, it's the delicious cocktail I just had <laughs> of old English. Oh. And- <laughs> <laughs> 
and uh, <laughs> and Xanax and Clonpin. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. So they're very nervous. They mm-hmm. get there. It's like, dun, dun, dun. It's overgrown. Oh, my God. As soon as you pull up, I'm like, I'm not going in this house. Gary, you're going in without me. Gary's like, I am yeah. going in without you, uh-huh. actually. So Gary goes in first and Leah is being very sweet, very calm. Right. And they said that the house smelled so badly like urine. I hope they had dogs or cats. Yeah, I think they had cats, right? Because it looked like there was urine stains on the carpet. On it the walls. Like, yeah. Gary's gagging. Yeah, I know. Leah said that she would have called CPS if she were okay. Amber. Okay. So Leah said, I would have called CPS. And Christina's like, you would have called CPS? I would have. And then she stopped. And I thought she was going to say that she called CPS. Oh, maybe she did. Maybe she, that's what Yeah, she like caught herself. Gary said that he'll get a team to get Andrew's stuff out. You know what? Yeah. Amber is very lucky to have them because this is a bad situation. No, this is terrible. I mean, you have to hire someone for this. The this is dirty like a- stained pillows in the closet. Everything was disgusting. It's not even like, OK, he moved. So like he kind of like left everything. That, kind no, of a no, mess. he lived that way. He lived that way. So the thing is, it, here's what gets me. You and I were talking. I think it was last week. And we were talking about how why would they take James out of such a nice situation with the whole family there and bring him to a place he doesn't even know. But it's like, didn't they investigate Andrew, they didn't go to the house one time to see the living conditions that he had James in because nobody would think that this is normal. I know. I was really <laughs> disturbed by this. And it, it was, it's not it's not about like, oh, my God, because I love a clean house. No, people can't a live clean like house. This. But that's what I'm Gary saying. Like, was can't live like this. That's sick. that blanket when he picked up the blanket. And then he's like, and then Andrew was probably just laying here next to it. Yes. Yes, that house doesn't get like that. No, uh -uh. and he couldn't leave. So it's not even like, oh, well, he was living in California. No, no. Where is everyone's dogs and cats? I don't know. I think Amber has some dogs at her house with her, though. Mm, Very weird. Yeah. All right. So moving on to Brianna, she is moving. She said they're going to be sleeping on an air mattress. Why not just move when you get your beds and furniture? She can't. Okay. well, she's also moving because she has a boyfriend at your own place okay <laughs> sure but you could also wait until your, your bed comes no i know but it's like i guess you want to have a floor party i don't know <laughs> all right well uh nova goes what is this all this garbage <laughs> she's a good kid <laughs> she only has a two bedroom too i know tracy why are you, why is she downsizing i would have been like here roxy i got you an apartment no i would have been like we got a three bedroom right but i'm just saying like here, well, because she doesn't know apartment. she doesn't know if she wants to you know move out she doesn't know where she wants to live so i get it get a three it's bedroom small. yeah that's also, so weird just in general because like, you could the not living because room area was so listen small. it's not because you it's bad it's just you could you have the money to do it you're in florida also the apartment was so nice i'm sure you could just get a little the bigger. bigger one yeah just the bigger one well there's no furniture mm-hmm. lots of lip kissing this is all they do. Roxy got a lip kiss. You Brianna get a lip, got kiss. lip kisses, right? You get a lip kiss. Maybe Lewis gets Gabrielle, a lip kiss. To be honest, I know. <laughs> Very remnant of her. Um, Stella cannot believe they have to sleep there. I know. She's like, we're sleep. We're sleeping here. We're not here? going back to Nana's house. So no bed. No. No bed. No furniture. Mm, no nothing. bed. Uh-uh. We just, I just have this chicken blanket, wing. blanket and wing. And we all sleep on the same air mattress. Yes. Okay, she's like, that well, terrible. I yeah, she's like, I don't know how great this idea is. Um, so she's unpacking with Brittany. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love Brittany. Brittany's very funny. She's like, you're not even helpful with those chonga nails. <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna get you magnets. <laughs> and it, 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 but Brianna like genuinely laughed too. Yeah, they're funny. funny. Yeah, it was so cute. Her boyfriend's really good. Um, but her shirt does not cover her bra. Her shirt doesn't cover her bra. Her motorcycle, her motorcycle shorts come well above her navel. You love a good motorcycle short. I do. But it's just that's I haven't seen her wear anything else in a very long time. Yeah, I don't think she could. I would imagine it is very difficult to fit. Yes. Um, just to fit those dimensions. Yes. Right. You would need like custom jeans. She would need to go to Ryder's Dressmaker. 
Would she though? What would she get if she went there? She would get Walmart pants or like a ball gown. Who knows? There's no Maybe way to she, know. There's no way to know. Um, she said that she's talking about Bobby and she's like, yeah, I want him to come here and build some furniture for me. Okay. He's going to build Ikea furniture. You he don't want him to meet the girls. Michigan. Okay. But you're also going to be sending your kids to go stay with your mom, right? Yeah. You don't want them to meet. So you just yeah. wanted someone to bang Bobby. Yeah. Okay. Get a hotel room. But that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. She did this because she has a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Well, she said that she really wants to enjoy her apartment. She didn't want to move right in with a man. She wanted well, I to would hope not. Once. <laughs> yeah. But it's like you're just prepping to move in with a man. She is, though. Because you just want Bobby to move in with you. And they're already broken up anyway. I know. Thank you. Yeah. Well. Moving on to Jade. Uh, so they're engaged. She's wedding planning. Right. And it's Chloe's first day of pre-K. And Chloe said that she's nervous. Mm, Did you get sad? sad? I mean, I felt terrible for her. And then I was trying to remember if I was like this, but I can't remember. Okay. I definitely was not like this. Because I don't think I was like that. Yeah. I was like this in nursery school. I used to yeah, cry. I don't think I was. I was. I really was. I had a lot. And I could. You know what? It's so funny. It's like I'm. 27 years old now and like I remember everything when I was like three like no yesterday. me too me too I remember my parents I remember my parents fighting when I was like really little very like, when my parents were divorcing. really little yeah wow. like I remember like old stuff yeah and I remember like I remember my mom would bring me there and I'm like hello yeah you're just leaving. Like, I don't, un- I didn't understand it. <laughs> right. Like what's happening here. I love right. nursery school. I went to OLG. Nursery schools before pre-K. Yeah. I loved yeah. It. You're like, you're like three. Yeah. I thought it was the best time of my life. Mm, I did not think it was great. I think it scares uh, kids. I was very confused. You know where I went to nursery school? You've been there. I went to Tell nursery me. school where I had that, um, that benefit show in the community house. Oh, really? That's a nursery school? That's where I went to. Exactly where you are when you go like up the little stairs. Yeah. That was my nursery school. That's so cute. Yeah, it That's was a very cute, cute little, very nice neighborhood. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah. I went there. I was very confused. But then by the time I got to like pre-K, I was like, yeah. goodbye. You're like, goodbye. Leave me here forever. Yeah. Well, I did. I told you what I did in, in kindergarten, right? What? When what I started you know? kindergarten, it was half days. Yeah. So you had wanted a, a full day. Yeah. You had a choice of half days or yeah. full days. And I went into the principal's office and I was like, hello, uh, my friends in class, they have right. a lunchbox. I don't have that. Uh huh. What is up with that? And she's like, oh, because, you know, they stay and then you leave. And I'm like, why do I leave? And everyone else stays. Right. And she's like, your mom only signed you up for half days. I was like, well, that's a phone call. You're that's going to gonna change. Right. Yeah. And I got it. I've always been a full day or I don't even think they offered that in my school. It was it was so strange. Days. Yeah, it was so strange. So anyway, moving on. Yeah. Um, Chloe she was, sobs. <laughs> she was genuinely upset, though. Yeah, I feel like, again, she's scared. She doesn't really know. Yeah, what's she going wasn't on. like throwing a tantrum. No, she was sobbing. She was like, she was like <gasps> yeah, I was very upset for her. Also, why does Sean fight with her? He's like, I don't know uh, why like, you're doing this, bro. But also, like, she'll be like, you're going to leave me there. And he's like, no, I'm not. And she's like, you're going to leave me there. He's like, I don't like when you tell me what like what I'm going to do. I'm telling you, I'm not going to do that. It's like you're trying to reason with a baby. Yeah. You're yelling at her like she's a 40 year old. man. Yeah, it's so stupid. So they drop her off and Jade cries and then Sean's comforting her and uh, they get home to their new dog. Right. Uh huh. That's good. Donde esta Miguel? <laughs> Donde esta Miguel? Donde esta the husky? husky. Uh huh. He was an escape artist. I, I saw it on TikTok. I want him. Not him particularly, here. but just huskies in general. They I've like heard that about them. That is the true story about them. So, did you notice Sean's tattoo outline? It's a state, right? I don't know what it is, but one inch of it's colored in. It's like, did you just get bored? See, I thought it in? looked like a state. I couldn't figure out what state it was. It almost looked Nevada-esque. That's why I was like, what is this? Exactly. Oh, I don't know, but I know that whatever it was, one little piece was like colored in with like a pencil. Oh, maybe it was like the capital city. Mm. <laughs> no, I think it's just an outline. Very weird. So yeah. They're fighting in the car now to go. Pick right. Her up. She says she was saying, like I saw on Twitter, she's like, I got into a bad a car accident. So now I have like crazy anxiety. When okay. People drive. Understood. No. I get it. But it's also like, then why have him drive? Right. Well, she's probably trying to just go with the flow. They pick up 
Chloe, she had cheese and crackers for lunch. Me, my lunch. That's I what was I like, had This is lunch. like when I drop off Noelle at kindergarten. Yeah. Pre-K. Uh-huh. And Tracy's like, what'd you eat today? And I'm like, Brie and American. Mm-hmm. With Ritz, Ritz crackers. Some clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, um, I don't know what I wrote here. Um, oh, he's been, Sean's been home from rehab for a year. I know. I can't believe that. I feel like he just got me. home. Time flew for me. Time flew so for they me. make up the next day and they talk like regular people. She has on all the makeup I've ever seen in my life. She only wears this one tie dye t-shirt, right? Yes. Okay. I'm uh-huh. just checking. Mm-hmm. It's tie dye t-shirt. But like you like to say motorcycle. motorcycle. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. That's all. Well, Brie is rubbed off on her. Yeah. I, I wonder see if that. they'll ever move to Florida to be like, with I think Brie that's a natural them. progression. Oh, no, it is. But I mm-hmm. think that that would be cool. They should just move there. I'll Maybe watch Joe Chow. But Florida man, Florida lady, Florida woman, with babies <laughs> and dogs and dogs. Who knows how many? So many dogs. So many different varieties. So many varieties. They so swap many flavors. Them, they swap them out like Aunt Viv and Becky. Those dogs. You know, they say she's the same, but she's not the same. She's not the same. She's not the same. Not the same. <laughs> she, do you think that they're trying to play off that little fluffy dog for a husky? Right. But that's the thing. Here's the thing, though. In the grand scheme of things, that little fluffy dog would not would have been my number one choice either. No. You guys aren't even good dog choosers. Bad dog choosers. Bad, so fluff. bad house choosers. Bad dog choosers. Bad bicycle bad. short choosers. <laughs> Motorcycle. Bad shorts. veneer choosers. I got to tell oh, you. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. I was uh, I was doing a show this weekend and one of the guys had like really nice teeth and the girl was like, oh, my one of the comics. She was like, your teeth are beautiful. Are those yours? And he's like, well, whose teeth would they be? <laughs> he's like, you can't get someone else's teeth. And she's like, you can get fake teeth. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but I wouldn't get fake teeth. She's like, OK, she's like, when I make it, I'm going to get the biggest, fakest teeth you've ever seen. That's how it gonna, goes. She's <laughs> like, and everyone's going to be like, what's wrong with her? And she's going to be like, she made it. It's your, as soon as they got money on Jersey Shore, every person got veneers. A lot of people do this. Yeah, it's very terrifying. It's weird. I mean, Teen Mom, they love it. Do you remember Bristol's? I like them on her. I do. I think they suited her. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. Ridiculous. I like them on her. I like them. Still, they were still yeah. Ridiculous. Dakota had them too. I don't know, guys. I am too tired for this. Uh, it is way too late at night. It's almost seven thirty p.m. So yeah, I'm done. Would you even know I had a sinus headache? No, right? I just like even rode know. through. You wouldn't even know. Yeah. Uh, we're going to record some more episodes for you. So stay tuned. Make sure you're liking our clips. We have been putting so many clips up. Nick Monroy is the ultimate clip maker. He is. Nick is so good at it. He picks like the best part. He picks them great. He's, He's learning so all these good. things. He's so smart. He's one of the smartest people yes, I've ever met in my is. whole life. Guys, make sure you're following Nick on Instagram and you're telling him what a great job he does, because if you don't, I don't know who will because it's not going to be us. So when I post the clips on our Instagram page, you tag I put him. a little camera and I tag him in it. Okay. So it's at Nick Benini. Guys, yeah. follow him. N-I-C-K-T-H-E-N-E-N-E on Instagram, guys. Make sure you follow him. Tell him how great his clips are, please. Yeah. That's Nikki Clips, baby. Oh, Nikki Clips. Nikki Holla, Clips. Nikki Clips. I like it. Make sure you're liking our clips. Make sure you're sharing our clips. Make sure yeah. you're sharing word of mouth through the podcast tell a friend about it don't forget we have catfish trash talk we have 90 day fiance trash talk totally free and join the patreon if you want more content we are we have uh 90 day fiance the single life right now we have our Mm -hmm. favorite podcast bs we have so many bonus episodes that your brain will actually explode it's going to be amazing for you make sure you follow the show at teen mom podcast on twitter teen mom trash talk on instagram and follow noel at noe girl on instagram twitter and tiktok i'm at trixie choose Zini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, tracycarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming stand up comedy show dates and everything podcast related. Make sure you give us a five star rating and an amazing review wherever you listen to us. And if you're listening to us on audio and you want to see our faces, go over and subscribe to our YouTube. And if you're listening to us on YouTube and watching us and you think we're ugly, that's fine. I, I'm not saying you're wrong. Just you're go not subscribe. Wrong, but- Go subscribe to us on on audio and then you won't have to see us ever again. Okay. Thank you so much. Please have a nice day. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Bye.